Right, hi everybody, and welcome back to Lundy's Wild Camp Stroke Bushcraft. And as you can see, day two, back in the Cheviot, in a different part of the area as well. Um, I'm not going to reveal where I'm camping yet, because I'm not really sure. I've got about three different options, but I will be, at some point, wanging a left and heading up to the tops of there. So, it's got to keep an eye on me route that I've planned. So all together, I've got a circular route, it's about eight miles. And uh, yeah, it's, a, oh, pardon me, it's a kind of steep uh, climb up. But, <laughs> I'm in the Cheviots, <laughs> nothing's not steep up here. But uh, yeah, so I just bumped into some lad asking for directions to get up to the top of there like but he's come from another car park which is a couple of miles to our right hand side no backpack on knee, knee day sack knee bum bag or knee water on out crazy pair of shorts t-shirt that's it like some people I don't know how they can go out all day without water must be dehydrated to bits Right, well, I've come from down that direction, follows the path all the way up, and I've just wanged the left there, and this track, as you can see, onto a dirt track now, and this wangs all the way over there, and then skirts all the way around, and up to the top of there. Whoo, happy days. I tell you what, it's not sunny, but it's bloody warm. I tell you, I think it would be a killer now if it was sun, sun was out. But yeah, I'm sweating like mad. I think I've just had a bit of a, t a tick. It looked like a tick and anyway, crawling around on my hand. So I've just flicked it off. So I've got my tick um, little tweezers and tool thing. So when I get up to where I'm going, I'll give myself a quick check over and uh, make sure I haven't got any on us. But yeah, cracking. Whew. I think we're gonna get some fluids on before I head up that hill though. Cause I am sweating like a good one. Right, there we go, that's where we're going tonight. Easter tour, it's a quarter of a mile. And there it is there, look. Whoo! Hey, I tell you what. That's a four quarter of a mile, lad. <laughs> well, just, uh, just where it's uh, sort of like bends in the road, there's a track goes down there. And that's where I've come up. It was, uh, it was kind of steep, like, the sweat is pouring off me, like, so when I get up there, first thing I'll be doing is getting this t-shirt off, get dried off, put a clean t-shirt on, I'll just put my blue top on, just to keep the wind and all the, all the little bugs off us, and uh, have a look for a pitch. So it's way too early, like, so <laughs> it's far too early to be quite honest, especially with the amount of people that's walking around. Well, I'll have a look, I'll have a sit down and have a rest and that. Tell me thoughts. I might go for a little yomp somewhere else uh, if this one's no good. But I've been informed of a reli reliable source, M's Outdoors. I think it's M's Outdoors. I'm not sure if it's Adventures or anything, but M's Outdoors. Oh, Emma. Cheers for the little uh, heads up on this one. Uh, she's another. Another lovely lady who watches my channel and is uh, happy to share a few things with us because she's enjoying us being out on the hills. So, yeah, thank you, Emma. Really appreciate it. And Emma lives in this neck of the woods, so she knows it like the back of her hand as well. And uh, she's quite a funny person as well. And uh, she goes out doing loads of massive walks. But, uh, yeah. I'll put a link in the description to M's uh, channel and I'll put it up on the screen as well, okay? Right, well, right, I've made it. I haven't got my microphone on, so they excuse the noise. Um, I just haven't got it all set up because my battery was charging it. But uh, yeah, I'm not sure if this is a trick point, but I'm going to go and tap it in any way. And we'll have a look at the view from here. Oh, it's splendid. Oh, look at that. Well, if this is a trig point, dish dash 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 dish dish dash dash. 
there you can look at that so that's just down in the bottom there in the bottom of the valley from the farm just walked up there zigzagged up that hill around that little bit of valley there up and up there and in right well listen to that no wind whatsoever up on the top there it's blowing a hulu but down here it's amazing i'm gonna be taking this top off again i'm sweating again but yeah i've got a nice little bit of a, a rock at the back of us there it's nice and flat where i'm sitting and uh this is the view it's absolutely stunning i'm going to try and pitch my tent up here uh, look for the flattest part I think that part there is probably the flattest it's not going to be perfect but I've got to try and get that into my head I'm not going to find a bowling green alley to um, like a bowling green to pitch on every time there's always going to be lumps and bumps you've just got to move your kit around to suit that lumps and bumps yeah don't get us wrong it's great if you can find the perfect pitch but it doesn't always happen does it Right, I'm just going to lean you down there a second. I just, I, I, I put this uh, top on because it was blowing a hoolie up there and I'm sweating now. But yeah, it's far too early to pitch up. But I might have a couple of practices with me, with me tent because uh, I haven't done any practices since I, um, I last come out. And I'll tell you what, I'm going to take these boots off because my feet are sweaty. Now these boots, I uh, got these off another YouTuber on a, um, a subscriber giveaway. Mark, 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 oh God, I forgot his bloody second name now. Is it Mark Duck? I'm not 100% sure. I'm gonna have to check the hell out. <laughs> and uh, tell you what, I've been wearing these for the last two days on the hills. And uh, wow, uh, they're comfy. They're like a wide shoe. They're a summer shoe. They're not a winter shoe. They're not 100% waterproof or anything. Uh, I don't even think they're waterproof, but yeah, perfect. Um, it's so hot, these are sweaty, but if I had me Matadales on, my feet would have been absolutely roasting. But well, that's the name of them there, Keen. I'm Keen, what am I not doing here? <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm going to take my socks off and I'm going to take, take a bit of time out. Ugh find my hat, put my hat on because the sun's out it's very deceiving isn't it with them, with them lovely sexy feet now this is why I have problems with long hikes and things because I've got a high arch yeah and my, my toes don't touch the ground they actually stick up over so having a wider foot on the toe of your boot is much better for me but yeah, oh, the sun's coming out. That valley's lush. I'll have to get a map out and have a look and see where I'm pointing it. See if I can work it out. But yeah, I think I'm looking over to Scotland. Anyway, battery's gonna, um, the memory card's gonna go soon. And I'm just waffling crap now. Uh, I'm gonna take a couple hours out. I'll bring you back if it's, uh, anything important happens, anything interesting happens. Cheers for watching everyone. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. All right, don't forget, leave, I'll, do leave a comment like, because I, I love getting the comments. Uh, I try and get answer everybody within a week. Um, obviously I've got a lot of things going on at home at this minute. So, you know, just bear with us. I think I'm up to date with them. Right, I am waffling now, aren't I? Uh, right, so that's where I'm sitting chilling been sitting there for about an hour and a half or so now it's just amazing and uh, just sitting looking down to there absolutely beautiful like yeah I'm still debating whether to put my tent here it is a bit lumpy bumpy I tell you what though them goats they must have some size turds look at the size of that man Jesus Christ they're huge There's a lot of, lot of animal muck here, but there's loads of rocks here as well on the flat bit. So, I don't think I'm going to be able to camp on here. Such a pity, because that's a beautiful spot. Just had a little bit of uh, rain come down, only a small shower like. But yeah, 
I've just been having a, a lovely conversation with my uh, amazing woman I've got at home, my wife. Hi, Sharon. <laughs> She's a good wife, you know. She is. This gives me the freedom to come out and do this and share it with you. Uh, not many blokes are that lucky, you know. Not lucky at all. But yeah. She's a top draw. Top draw she is. Is that a nice thing? <laughs> I think it is. But aye, she's amazing. I know you won't see this until after we've been away, but looking forward to having our time away as well. A couple of days away, up in Kiel there again. Mint. A lot of gliders around here. A lot of gliders. Tell you how, old chaps. Tell you how. Drop the bombs on the bastards. Get them. Go on. That's it. Tell you how. Tell you how. <laughs> now it is. <laughs> I'm sat here looking at an amazing view. But I miss chatting to people. <laughs> I am. I'm actually missing talking to someone. I'd never be good on a lone me, like. <laughs> I'll be picking up the emergency phone. Hello. Hi, you lads. Are you all right? I am fine. I know I've only been here for a half an hour, but I just need to talk to somebody. <laughs> Are you quitting? No, I just want to say hi. Yeah. <laughs> I just kind of fucking help myself. No wonder I have five hours of editing today every time I make a video because I tart that much rubbish. <laughs> oh, what a beautiful day. It's boiling. A couple of little showers like, but I'm not even panicking. I'm just letting it come. It cools its tongue a bit and then dries off within seconds. But anyway, hello. Just wanted to say hello to everyone. <laughs> oh, Christ. Oh, God almighty. Right, well, I'm back up on the tops. And as you can see, over the back end there, we've got the Cheviot and we've got uh, Hedge Hope. All right, and then just below there, it'll be where I was uh, camped out last night. Can't remember the name of that. I'm not about to try and make it up either, because it'll make me look stupid. Don't know what that valley's called, and I don't know what any of them hills are called. All right, but all I do know is, that's called the Hex Peak. And uh, yeah, I've just took me time putting it up. I decided down the bottom end just wasn't good enough. So I came up here, it's perfect. Um, the only little thing I've got to worry about is this little channel here, but I'm not bothered because if I need to pee, I'll just lean out there in the middle of the night, pee in that little channel. <laughs> Happy days. Uh, but here you go. Here's my setup for the night. And sitting at that door, obviously when I get my main chair out, that is going to be my view. Can it get any better than that, can it? Uh, so, I've got Eastern 9-inch nine, nine nails uh, on all the, the main tie-outs, just in case the wind picks up. And then I've got me, me little pegs on all the other bits on the main part of the tent, uh, which come with me, um, me other tent I use. I can't remember the bloody name. I'm hopeless at remembering names. So tonight, because I'm up on the hills and I'm by myself, I've only got two Jack Daniels, but if you think about it, there's four shots. So I've got eight shots of Jack Daniels, more than enough. Down on the right hand, uh, left hand side here, I've got all my electrics, another spare camera, batteries, bits and pieces, charger, that's doing my phone at the minute, because I've been doing a lot of posts, head torch, glasses, and the flex tail gear, tiny uh, repellent. Worked a treat last night. It's a bit breezy up here, so if this breeze stays, I'll be happy because it means no midges. Uh, I'll talk about inside in a minute. So over the back end here, I've got the drone at the back. I'm not sure if I'm going to be risking to fly that. I'm going to need to get more practice with it, to be honest. Um, last night, I felt a little bit uncomfortable flying it in a slight breeze, and at one point, it lost its signal. I just don't want to lose it on its first time out. I'd rather go somewhere where I know I am, where there's no wind and I can practice using it because my skills aren't great at flying them, to be honest. That's how I crashed my last one. But anyway, Bergen, uh, 
cold weather clothing and everything still in there. Uh, bits and pieces in there that I'm not going to be able to use. Bits, basically like soya filter and bits and pieces that I always carry. Sweat rag. If I don't use it as a sweat rag, get used as a tea towel. That's not poo, it's just a burn stain. Tea. Brew kit. A couple of biscuits I didn't eat this morning. And that's my main meal for tonight. So we've got a, a creamy salmon with a pasta. I'm looking forward to that. Last night I had a... What was it? A, a kebab stew. It was amazing. Kebab stew. Real trauma meals, I think it was as well. Or was it the other one? It was. I think it was the other one. Uh, the green packs. It was absolutely... Oh, bloody hell. Really good. Yeah, my spare tripod, I always bring this one as well as that one there. All right. That is an amazing bit of kit. Um, I should do a video on it, really. It's a hunting stick. Come walking stick, come tripod. You can put all boats on there, rifles, uh, big cameras, small cameras, and it's just great, it's ideal. Instead of using a walking stick, I use that. Um, obviously it's a lot heavier, but when I need to stop to take a shot, I don't have to worry about getting my tripod, this one, out my bag, all right? I just straight away open the legs, put it down, point the camera, press, press record, and that's it, happy days. That's just me backup for when I want to put stuff on it, like the light last night. Soto um, cooking set with the Soto stove, my favourite cooking system. I'd even take this into the woods, absolutely love it. Okay, because at the end of the day, I've got a cup, then I've got this pot, and then I've got that. That one's a 900ml, I, th I think that's 600 or something, I'm not really sure. I'd have to have a, a look and uh, put it up. I think it's either four, four, six hundred. And then obviously you've got the cup there as well. And it acts as a firmer flask. Table, radio, Goodman's radio, absolutely ideal. Picks up loads of belter stations, even up here as well. And like I said, me drink and two litres of water. Well, about one and a half litres now, and then a small bottle. That's the outside. All right, inside, I'll tell you what, it's absolutely roasting hot. Try to do this with one hand. Excuse the camera action a second, everybody, because I can't do open that with one hand. All right, I'm not a genius. Right, inside, obviously, I've got me, me main chair here that I'm sitting on. It's also me um, firmer rest mat. Okay, so that'll come out here tonight when I get ready to go to bed. And then just the same sleeping bag as last night, the Firefly Mountain Equipment one. I think it's Firefly Mountain Equipment. Yeah, Firefly Mountain Equipment. About, I think I got it for a couple of hundred quid when I bought it a couple of years ago. It was marked down from about 350 or something. And then a cheap, a cheap pillar. Um, I think it's high gear, works perfect. My top for later on, and then my main top, hat and gloves. That's it. That's the whole shebang, ladies and gentlemen. All right. Um, the tents went up a lot better than the last time. But I've still got tweaks to do. The ground sheet, I just can't, oh, yo, that ditch is gonna be a nightmare when I have a drink. The ground sheet's perfect, but it's not. I think it should have been twisted the other way and the inner should have been a bit more over here, so it was going that way. Um, but it is what it is, and that's that's the outer side. Now I've got the wind hitting that. Look, it's not even moving. It's not even moving. And there's a bit of a breeze. Like I'd say about ten mile an hour winds at the minute. Not even budging. Brilliant. The only dilemma I've got is if the farmer comes up. Looks like this is his bit of track. Um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna build a I'm gonna go and get some trees. I'm gonna build a barrier here. <laughs> no, I'm not like. But uh, yeah, this is my view for today and tonight. Well, it's been my view all day. I've been down the bottom there, sitting. It's absolutely mint, but it's absolutely red hot down there. And midges were starting to get there because there's no breeze. 
but uh, yeah, look at this. Easter tour, I think it's Easter tour, East tour, West tour, that's that one up there. Obviously, as all know, and achieve it. Okay, it's that windy, my chair's starting to move. <laughs> How about I put that inside the tent? Yeah, otherwise, I'll be running down the hills. Running down the hills for it. I've got it upside down as well. Aye, but well, I haven't got a clue what any of these are, but I like the look of that area over there. All the woodlands and that. That'd be nice to walk around. It's beautiful. I think that could be in Scotland, that you know. I'm, I'm not sure. Anybody know? Is that Scotland? I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I've got a main a proper map with us as well, because I've been using the proper map as well as my phone as well, just to try and home in on my skills a little bit. And uh, yeah, it's paying dividend like. So happy days. All the little bits that I, I don't really show on camera. Just for my, my get back my skill set of reading the map properly. But anyway, I'm waffling, as I always do. And obviously, we've got a belt of sun, and I'm going to get the sunset round about there tonight, so I'll be able to look straight out my door and watch that sunset go down in that little valley. Happy days. <sighs> the hills are alive with the sounds of music. Right, cut that bit out. That was horrendous, wasn't it? I've just killed any chance of that tune getting in the number one. Right, welcome back everybody. It's about five past seven at night. I've just sit, been sitting, chilling out. I've poured myself a Jack Daniels, so cheers everybody. Appreciate you watching. And if you're liking the content so far, please consider hitting that subscribe button if you're not subscribed. Give it a thumbs up and hi as a comment i do get back to everybody okay sometimes it might take us about four or five days but i do answer every single comment because i love interacting with the viewers all right and subscribers so anyway yeah it's um, a little bit windy up here but because i've got the tent position perfect because i'm bloody good you know <laughs> <laughs> that could change the change of the wind but anyway yeah i'm not getting hit with none of that wind whatsoever and uh i've got a belt of view as well oh anyway cheers yeah it's absolutely stunning but as soon as i stick my head here i'm getting blasted by the wind so i, I wish i had one of them wind things but i think it said it was going to get up to about uh, 20, 25 mile an hour winds the night. So I'm going to go around soon, check all my tie downs and all that, make sure everything's still nice and taut and just sit here and enjoy tonight. Actually, we're just sitting out of this doorway a bit. I'm getting a bit of a chill like. And it is kind of windy. But uh, just to show it, well, you can see the tent blowing, but look. It's blowing a gale. I kind of get me drawn up. I'm not risking it. I nearly crashed it last night doing the bivy cam. And uh, I can't afford to lose a new drone. It's just cost us a fortune. So please buy us some coffees. <laughs> nah, man, can. Times are hard for everybody. All right, so don't feel obliged. Not that you're doing any weird. <laughs> yeah, I can't be saying shit like that. No, no, don't want to buy a coffee. Buy his 10 coffees. Yeah, so I'm just going to sit and relax and enjoy this the night. I'll probably be asleep dead early. Um, Saturday morning when I finished work, I had about four hours sleep. Last night, I had about three and a half hours sleep because I got up dead early to catch a sunrise. And uh, I'm starting to feel it now. Like, and I suppose once I have my second Jack Daniels, get some food down my neck, I'll probably, I'll probably zonk out in this chair, to be honest. But anyway, I'm going to stop waffling. I'm going to see if we can get a bit of a time lapse going because the wind's blowing a gale and hopefully the clouds will move a little bit fast. And I've got some nice sun, sun rays coming through. Let's just spin you around instead of looking at my ugly mush. Hello. I'm loving the hill camps. I hope you are liking the videos. Well, he's on because he's on viewing it. The views are crap. But these views, 
are absolutely stunning as you can see the sun got some lovely rays coming off the sunshine there like that valley down there is amazing yeah oh they lost me bloody hat yeah let's have a little pan around west tour over there no clue no clue no clue no clue for all them absolutely stunning isn't it but uh, yeah the wind my god right so in any way i'm going to head back into the doorway because it's chilly out here with this t-shirt on oh christ i tell you what that is that is bloody windy yeah it's going to be one of them nights i think but i'm in a canny tent it's holding up well so far and uh, yeah i'll catch you later because i'm going into waffle mode let's see if we can get a nice time lapse eh? see you in a bit Right, well, the wind's picking up even more now, like, so what I've had to do is I've dropped the inner so I can move further in and still sit on my chair and still look out to that. So I'm right out the wind now, so it's perfect. But obviously I've got my microphone on, so you'll not hear the wind, hopefully. But, uh, yeah, it's... Uh, it's getting a bit windy. Well, I don't even know what time it is. I've just been sitting relaxing. I've just been listening to some uh, 80s music as well as playing on my phone because that's my way of relaxing. It's 10 past eight. Right, I think I'm going to get some food on. So obviously I've got this, yeah. Real trauma meal. Eh, termat, sorry, not trauma. <laughs> I'm going to be traumat, traumatized, traumatized. So this one's a creamy salmon with a pasta. It looks nice on the picture, like. Uh, how much is it on here? Let's put these smashed, sellotaped, one pound shop, pound shop glasses on. It's got uh, 601 calories per portion. Yeah, and it's a creamy sal salmon with pasta. Any more information on that? On here? Did I, you know, da, 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 da. I can't see anything on it. That's... Uh, when's this best before? 9th of the 2nd, 26th. So I've still got plenty of dates on it, like, but uh, it's going to get at the night. Last night's meal, I know I've said it before, it was really nice, but I tell you what, like, it was absolutely chocker as well. Absolutely loads of food in it. So 601 calories, that'll give us a little bit of a boost because I'm actually really feeling tired. I'm only halfway through my first Jack Daniels, but I've had, like, I've just tallied it up, I've had about seven hours sleep in the last two days obviously because I was on night shift before I come out yesterday morning so I had about four hours kip there and then last night I had about three and a half hours kip because uh, obviously I got up for the time lapse for the, on the other video to do the sun sunrise which I'm really glad I did like because it was amazing like and uh, obviously yomping around the day up to here I'm just absolutely knackered the cloud cover is um, crap outside, as you can see. It looks nice. I might get a decent time lapse still, but I'm not going to get a sunset. But you, you can see, see all the rays of the sunshine there coming through. So it's still got about another hour, hour and a half before the sun sets. Hopefully things might clear up. 
I've done a bit of a time lapse before. I don't know what it's going to look turn out like, but obviously you would have seen it before this if it's any good. But yeah, it's absolutely blowing a gale. So let's have a look at me tent. See how it's see how it's holding up. Make sure I've still got my microphone on his. Jesus Christ! When once you come out that tent. But yeah, you can see the wind's picked up because the tent's blowing in a bit like. But uh, it's holding up really well. I've tightened tightened all my coat, my, my um, tie downs and things. So I'm not going to re redo them yet. I'll wait till later on. Come out and check them. And see how it goes. But yeah. Still stunning up here, no matter the wind. But yeah. Look at all them beams of light coming through the clouds. Then you've got the big boys over there. The Cheviot. Hedge Hope. Strange, isn't it? It's the only two hills I know. <laughs> Keep mentioning them. Also, obviously, you've got West West Tour up there. I'm thinking about having a walk up there in the morning. Um, and then double back on myself along the track. And then back down to... It begins with why I kind of pronounce it properly. It's over the back end of here, up over that, round the back, and then back down. So I'll be covering a few miles. I think that's about 500 and odd meters up as well. So it's still a canny, it's still a canny climb up to there the morrow morning with uh, all my kit on. But what I might do is I might just leave me Bergen at the bottom and just go up with me uh, with me little packs on me sides. I need to remember what the name of that pack is like because it's absolutely fantastic um, Someone Who was it again that asked is one of some of the one of the viewers asked us what this is I'll find out the name of it and I'll do a review on it It's absolutely I, I prefer this to the chest pack especially when I'm coming out doing hill camps Because everything's right at your waist and you can get absolutely loads, loads of stuff. I think it's about 10 litres all together this Um but like if you look in this side here this is where I keep like all my medical kit mozzy nets uh, like gloves, last plus tablets, creams, the whole lot toilet paper toothpaste I've even got oh I forgot about this I've got a brand new torch here to check out everyone it's like a laser torch for like shooting and things um, and obviously I've got a bag in here somewhere and it's got um, talcum powder in for my feet and then that one's got me map in and it keeps all my electrical stuff that I want handy and then obviously the little pockets have got like keys in, chalky bars, bits and pieces that I want to just grab a hold of straight away, glasses and things. Look at this, what, what a bomb sight eh? What a bomb sight. But, I'll tidy it all up, pack most of my stuff away the night before I, um, before I go to Kip. But anyway, yeah, lovely, right, I'm going to get some food, I'm not going to bore you with cooking that because it's just boiled water, add it, leave it for about 8 minutes and then eat it. I'll, I'll probably bring you back when I'm eating it, let you know how it is, but uh, yeah, season a bit. Right, well, it's tea time. Um, I've left it going as long as I need it to go. I don't even know what time it is on the watch because I've got, I've just been planning my route for the morrow. I've got a 15k walk planned for the morrow. Oh God, what am I let me sell them for tomorrow? But I've got plenty of time. I think there's somebody up on that other tour. No. No, it's just rocks. Right, and anyway, it's time for tea. Sorry, I've just got distracted there. I thought I could see somebody moving up on the other tour. But here's me tea. Now, a lot of people buy these bags where they put the food in, I think. I went and had some of this material left. As you can see, I've got some black masking tape on there, keeping it all together. And that's what I put my bags in. Okay. Homemade. Doesn't cost anything, especially when you've already used the material in your house. 
let's have a look at this. So this meal here, like I said, is a creamy salmon with pasta. I'll quickly hoi a quick bit of a clip up of what it looked like before I added the water. All right. And now I'm gonna have a look and see what it is. I added a little bit of extra water. I think I could have added even more water in to be quite honest, because it's still quite chunky. It soaks the water up so much, but that's a good little spoonful there. So as you can see, all the pasta, it's got a nice chunk of salmon and everything in there, and loads of bits of veg. Excuse my eating. Hmm. Do you know what it is? I know people say these are expensive meals, but I'll tell you what, if you get the real ones, you know, like the real trauma, 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 keep saying trauma, these are flipping amazing. Last night's meal was really nice, and this meal is really nice as well. You can see it inside there. All right, so I like a little bit of liquid in my food, so I think next time I'll add it a little bit further over the line, uh, just to give it that bit of juice and things. But yeah, there's just massive, massive chunks. Like, look at that. Massive chunks of salmon in that. Oh, that's lovely. It even smells nice. Yeah, but that's a good bit of calories there for me. I'm just gonna fasten it up a second. Now, I don't know if the camera will pick it up or not. I should have marked it up on the map. I might do that later. I might do it separately and mark it up on the map. I'll just quickly hide my code in. Yeah, so I'm planning on a route tomorrow. It's going to take us four hours and 23 minutes. That's roughly what it's going to take us. And it's 15.30 um, kilometres. All right. Um, and that's that's the route there I'm planning. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my map out. And I'm going to mark it up on the map with pencil. All right. And uh, it's just something to do different and then I can check out a few things so I'll be going up from here uh, to Newton Tours and then I'll be going popping taking a quick detour up onto Western Tour up the top there it's just a quick leg and then back on itself and then I'll go to Hair Law down from then and then I'll go to Southern Knoll and then down on the flats all the way along a track all the way along the river and uh, cross over a bridge, go past some waterfalls. It's all part of the Cumbrian, not the Cumbrian, the St. Cuthbert's Way, some of it as well. The last part that I go on is part of St. Cuthbert's Way. It takes me straight back to my car. So that's 15.3 15 kilometres. I tell you what, someone's talking about me because my lugs are itchy and they're getting warm. And that's going to take us, four, say, four and a half, so I'll say five and a half hours. So yeah. Hopefully that'll be interesting. Anyway, I shall see you later. I'm gonna... Right, well, everybody, it's 10 to 10. There's been no sunset. I'll just spin you around quickly. It's pants. It's too much cloud cover, and it looks a bit misty over, this, over there in any rate. And the wind has changed direction. It's blowing straight into my doorway. So I'm going to... Um, get tied up, pack stuff away and batten down the hatches and I'm going to get my head down. I've got a 15, mile, a 15 mile walk tomorrow or 15k walk, I can't remember. And anyway, I've got a long walk tomorrow. I've had next to no sleep over the last two days. So I'm going to call it a night. So I'll catch you in the morning. Right, good morning everybody. It's uh, four o'clock in the morning. I am absolutely sweating. I've only just put my t-shirt on just to uh, keep my modesty <laughs> on the on the video to be quite honest. But it has been absolutely boiling all night. It's 
It's currently sitting on the um, the mountain up at 17 degrees. And it's, and it's going to get warmer and warmer as the hours go. At 5 o'clock it's going to be 18 degrees. It is scorchy. Oh, there's there's not, a, not a breeze in, in sight up here. Uh, the bird activity is going crap as now. I've took my earplugs out. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to go and have a quick look and out the top of the tent and uh, see if we're going to get a sunrise. So it's still slightly dark like so. Um, I don't think it's going to be for another half an hour or so. But let's have a look. But yeah, what a hot night. I've been sliding down to the bottom of me, me um tent as well so it's been a bit of a hitty missy no no don't worry it is Dean, Dean zips for one hands need good like excuse the camera action <laughs> yeah I've got the light on inside the tent because it's a little bit dark in here uh, and you wouldn't be to see us but yeah I had to throw my clothing jackets and everything down the bottom here just to stop us from sliding I was waking up, my legs were all concertina down at the bottom and it was a very uncomfortable. Look at how neat that is. <laughs> right, let's use this to, on the top. Yeah, I don't think we're going to get anything like right. Well, I don't know, like. You can see. So, the sun went down there. We're going to get a sunrise up the back end there. Nice little breeze that. It's a very little breeze compared to last night. But once I got into bed last night about 10 o'clock, it just, the wind just stopped like. But you know what it is? I'm still tired. I've got a 15 mile walk to do today. I'm going to see if I kind of get asleep in the next half an hour, I'll get dressed and I'll walk over there like part of the crags and uh, get my camera set up ready for a sunrise. Uh, it's not looking too bad over there. Oh. Yeah, not too bad. Absolutely boiling, absolutely boiling. I haven't got my speaker in by the way, so it might pick up a bit of wind noise. It's a very slight breeze. But yeah. Brilliant. But yeah. Right, let's see if we can get a bit more kip. While I'm up, I might as well get a pee as well. Season a bit, people. Right, well, I'm just out on a shovel recce, toilet roll, put in a poo bags, little spade and everything to go and dig a hole. And I can't believe this. How are people, man? Get a bloody grip. Look at this. Let's have a shite. We'll pour all our toilet rolls all over the place and we'll just put it under some rock. Eh? That is disgusting, that. How are man? Look at this, man. Eh? Can't even, can't, can't even uh, get rid of it all. So do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to come back after I've had a poo with my poo bag and actually pick someone else's shit paper up. <sighs> do you know what it is? That really boils my pee. The little shits. Anyway, shovel recce on me way and uh, I'll come back and pick that up. Toss us. Ah. 
There you go. That's how easy it is, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. Well, that's me all packed and ready to go. Sorry about the rant earlier, but that just really winds me up. So anyway, in my bag here, I've got this green bag. It's attached to my Bergen by a clip. Um, and it's also fastened in there. That's got all their rubbish, all my rubbish and everything in. All right. And as you can see, leave no trace. Just a bit of a footprint where I've had my tent. And that's it. I'm going to head off onto a 15 mile walk now. All right. Um, it might be part of this video, it might not be, it might be a, a part two, but um, I'll just pause you a second. Yeah, this is this is me map, all right. We're currently at this location, and I'm gonna head off that way behind Jews, down onto the track, and then I'm gonna follow it up to up there, which is um, Western Tour. Okay, so that's that one there. And then I'm gonna go to uh, da, 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 Hemlow or something it's called, I can't see, because I put, I put Mark over the top of it. Hemlow, and then walk down the hill. And then what will happen is, I'll just point you, I'm gonna come down the back end of that hill there and then walk through the valley, following the stream. It's like uh, all, the, all the tree line down the bottom there. I'm gonna follow that all the way along, right the way, past where I turned off the track and then down back of the car. So it's gonna take just over four hours. So I'm gonna give myself five hours to do it. I've got all, I've got all the tea time to get back home. So that's happy days like, and uh, yeah. So that's me map marked. I've also got a route on my phone just in case, but it looks pretty straightforward. But it's always best to bring a, bring a, a proper map out in case something happens with your phone. Your phone could break or anything, all right? Too much technology these days. Need to get back to using one maps, all right, and compasses. So now you wait. Thanks for watching, everybody. Just in case this uh, finishes here, and uh, it's been fantastic again, and I'm looking forward to getting back out again. Possibly in the woods this t uh, next time. See if Rooney gets out. But anyway, I'll catch us later. Unless I continue.